This is going to be a quick install guide on how to install the 62 inch wide Bluetex insulation products inside a metal building with 60 inch on center framing. When you do this you'll have a perfect 2 inch overlap on the frame to make an airtight seam. A longer version with more details will be coming soon. Remember, Bluetex insulation will reflect 97% of radiant heat in the summer, just like instant shade for your building. And it will create a new internal surface that will usually be above the dew point to eliminate condensation or sweating. As far as the install process, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add wood strips in the corners and along the roof. Now remember, it's kind of like installing drywall. You're gonna need a hard corner for that blue text when you get to that corner frame. The problem is you bring it down and keep it in a straight line, you basically have a corner on a corner. So you're gonna to need to put usually two by two wood strips on either side in order to have something to screw into for that corner. The next thing you wanna do is add a one by four header at the top of the wall just under the roof trusses. This is critical to have a good, clean installation. I think it's best to do the roof section first and then the walls last for two reasons. First of all, when you do the roof section first and you terminate on that top 1x4 header, you've got a nice clean transition between your wall and your roof. Plus doing the roof is usually more difficult than doing the walls. This way you usually get the harder part done first. For the roof, you want to start on one side on the 1x4 header, run it up and over, and terminate on the other wood 1x4 by four header. It's best to start on one side and if you can take a couple of clamps to hold up the Blutex on the tubes. This way it stays out of your way and you can work from one side to the other. The Blutex will have the peel and stick double sided tape on the back side of the foil. So what you want to do is attach that directly to the frame and use the frame to line it up on one side. Pull it across and just occasionally put a screw and washer to hold it into place. Run it up, over and down and then terminate on the wood 1x4 header on the other side. Then what you're going to do is go to your next piece on the roof. Do exactly the same thing. Tape it on one side, pull it across. Now when you get to that seam, you're going to have two layers of Blutex. At this point, you want to come through with the screws and washers, and every few feet, put the screw and washer through both layers of the Blutex into the metal frame. To eliminate any waste, you can actually use the full roll, and when you bring it down to that 1x4 header, use that piece of wood as a cutting board. You can either cut down the middle, or you can use the bottom as a straight edge and just cut it off and keep it clean. At this point, you want to fold the blue text to make a nice clean corner transitioning from the roof to the sidewall, and then use two or three screws and washers to attach the blue text to that one by four header. For the walls, you're basically doing the same thing. You want to hold a piece up to that top corner where that wood header is and get it lined up left and right to the framing going down the sides. Then what you want to do is put two or three screws across the top, pull it nice and tight at the bottom. I'd actually leave the roll on the ground, get that nice and tight, put two or three screws across the bottom tube. Now use a utility knife and cut the blue text along the bottom in the corner where the tube meets the concrete. Now you want to attach the blue text to the upright framing. So looking at the blue text, assuming the peel and stick tape is on the right hand side, what you want to do is peel the paper backing off and attach to the metal frame going up and down. Now at this point you may want to take a utility knife and cut little slits for the framing where the corner brace comes down to keep it flush. I'd install two or three screws on the left hand side, not where the double sided tape is. Then you're basically going to repeat again. Assuming the tape is on the right, tape it on the right hand side, pull it across to the left. Now you've got the double layer of Blutex. Take two, three, four screws and washers, depending on your wall height, and screw through both layers into the metal framing. Finally, you're gonna use the Blutex three inch white tape to seal all the seams. Seal the seam between your wall and your roof, along all the overlapping seams on your wall pieces and your roof pieces, and then finally around any corner braces that are coming down. That's a short version on how to install Blutex insulation in your metal building. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at bluetexinsulation.com or give us a call or send us an email.